Hello everyone, we are back with Land Velvet Reviews today, and uh, I guess this is more of an update. I, uh, you saw me, I got this valve, I got this from Amazon, this is the different brand that Bulk Brief Supply had, but it seemed like it's going to be uh, good enough. I think this is called the Everflow, it says right here. So I already put in this side, I told you why I'm doing that, this way I can always you know, keep this for as long as I can. I could just, you know, unscrew this out. I mean, if you're going to be using this with salt water, um, as you know, you're going to have a lot of buildup on these threads. So, you know, later on down the road, when you're going to want to reuse this, I would make sure to soak this in, you know, hot, hot water. Um, hot water with, um, I mean, maybe hot water with a little bit of vinegar, uh, you know, to break that up. And then I would take this out because if you try to take this out with all the salt water buildup in there, it, you might damage the threads. Then you can't use this valve anymore. Or you might just break this inside. And then you got to get a special tool to take it out. And uh, I've had that happen, you know, many times in, in the field. And when this thing breaks, it's like an extra 45 minutes to an hour you're spending of your time taking this out instead of getting other stuff done anyway so that's why i did that you know because i wanted to save this as long as i can so uh make sure you know i'm going to use teflon tape usually in plumbing applications i use teflon tape if you saw my other videos i use a uh, teflon tape and i use leak lock or something else on the thread so i know i'm going to have like a really good seal because there's nothing like being on vacation and then not knowing you have a water leak somewhere right i mean you can't prevent it all but if you if i can prevent what i can then um, I still know that I did what I can while I'm on vacation. It's not like I was like, oh, I was ignorant. So I now have thousands of damage at my house because of the water. So that's why, I, you know, we kind of overdo a little bit of stuff. So when you do this, make sure you're going to wrap it the right way. There is a certain way you wrap this. Majority of your applications, you're going to be dealing with threads that are in the right direction. So you're going to be going clockwise. So the reason why you do that, as you notice, you'll have leaks. It'll bunch up and then you'll have a big problem on your hands. So that's it. So you just give this thing a couple turns. You don't got to do go too crazy because you've got to remember this is for a fish tank, not going to be pressurized. So you don't, you don't need to go like too crazy. It's just going to be flowing drain water. You know, a thin layer on the top first couple of threads. And then as I go down, then I'll make it thicker and thicker. This way, by the time it hits the thickness and it's hard to get in there, you're gonna be already, you know, at this level. Uh, make sure you're gonna obviously do this the right way. Don't put this together right here because then you won't be able to ever fit this over the pipe, you're right? So I've done that countless times, you can tell me that. I would put it in by hand first, obviously, because you wanna make sure you're not cross-threading. There's nothing like, you know, there's nothing bad like cross-threading a brand new piece of anything that's expensive and then it's garbage and you cross thread it and you damage the whole thing then you uh you know and this is something i can't use um cements and solvents because it's for the salt water tank if i could and you mess up the threads you could probably fix it and get it to work but for the for a fish tank i wouldn't you know do that because you'll kill everything you know i, I have two sets of pliers channel locks whatever these are the ones that are going to work for me because i have little hands and i am a little person so um if you care about this the damage on this because you don't want this to look ugly wherever you're going to have it see mine has one indentation because i didn't use the uh the, the rag i would wrap the fitting and then grip it with the pliers and then this way you won't make marks and make it look all ugly right uh if you're tightening this and you want to get good you know clamping power and you know you're kind of handicapped like me with the back surgeries and all this other jibba jabba um, you're going to want easier um, tools and stuff to make the job easier so you don't have to be at the mercy of other people around you that could gouge you in pricing and rip you off and all this other stuff because everybody got a family to take care of, right? So uh, so I'm going to grab this like this, like I said, bada bing. All right, so uh, as they tell you in plumbing school or whatever, I don't know, whatever kind of school you go to, but, you know, you face the pliers the right way to get more leverage. So you're going to want to tighten this on, like I said, hold it down, give it some turns here. And remember, it's PVC. If, if you're using uh, really big pliers, you know how much you can go. You can't, you know, that's all plumbing. You can't just crank on it. You're, gonna, you're looking to just break it then. All right, so there you go. Look, mine went all the way in and you know how it's good. You saw I put the tape on, but it didn't bunch up. If your tape bunches up, 
all the way around here, then that might mean that you put this on the wrong way, just to let you know. And then you're probably gonna have a leak because it's bunched up in the threads. I'm gonna install mine like this, measure it out, pop it in the um, in my system. You're gonna see how that's gonna look. And then there we go. And now, like I told you, you glue this in. Now, later on down the road, you just cut the pipe off, unscrew this, and now you have this exact part for the location that you need, where if you use these, um, where if you use these and this is glued in there, you're kind of stuck, you know, this is kind of useless at that point, unless you can drill it out. Yeah, she, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, if you don't have the, not everyone has those bits that you can just drill out PVC. I, I did a lot of uh, plumbing, like a lot, and I don't even have those bits because it was just more cost efficient working on a commercial scale with a lot of volume. It was just more efficient to cut the pipe out and just put brand new piping and then get on to the next job but that's not my life right now anymore. So I couldn't get these in a blue or a gray. Uh, I think they had them in schedule 40, but they were like five times the amount of money. That doesn't really make sense. Uh, you know what I mean? For me to spend that kind of money, just get gray. Um, but yeah, I put a little bit more Teflon tape on this one. Uh, that's why I couldn't seat it all the way in. But not only that, not all of these are made 100% alike. You won't always get it in. That doesn't mean it's going to leak, but we're going to leak. You make sure you leak test it anyway. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community. Just like I get help from the community.